All right, this is me. Um, I do a lot of projects um, all over the country. Um, I want to tell you about some of the cool projects that I've done, how the monsters have kind of um, helped um, people out around the world. Um, I, I have a, a studio, and oh, that's me. 20 year patch whiskey right here. This is, this is my first business, Six of Stones. I painted thousands of rocks. I'm from the woods of West Virginia. So, yeah, this was my first business, and I fell in love with painting. This was, this was me. This was the obsession. This is where I started. I'm still painting rocks. <laughs> so, so I'm still painting rocks, obviously. So I, I see random objects and things uh, when I walk around. And I, I saw this mound of rocks, and I decided to give them faces and give them a life. <laughs> So this is the uh, this is the illegal beagle. He's like my Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I did not know this guy was gonna be with me for the rest of my life. So I am basically this guy. So when you see him in paintings and canvases and walls, I am that dude. <laughs> and there he is. So my first love was um, video games. Um, my parents brought me um, a gray box and put it in the Zenith floor mount television I was watching in the form of a Nintendo. So Japanese art was a huge part of my inspiration then and now and forever. So there's the Beagle again. So this guy is going to be a big thing um, in the future for me. Um, this was my first um, rendition of him as a plush monster. I want him... To, um, I, want, I want to be in a video game. I, I see a cartoon in the future for him. He's, he's going to be a big deal for me. <laughs> yeah, so one day I was in my front yard and a mushroom pops up, so I painted it. <laughs> it was awesome. I got to go out to the mailbox and see this guy, but th these dudes only last for like five days. <laughs> it was so sad. <laughs> he melted back into the earth. This is my first time at Art Basel in Miami. I brought my best friends, Ghost Beard and Rod Duran out of Chicago. Um, this is the whiskey machine. God bless the whiskey machine. It's a, a pop can now. Um, but I brought them, we built a stage on my van and, um, and, and painted this mural and uh, got to experience Art Basel. Two, right after that, we went to Mellow Mushroom and those guys assisted me and I spent a month and a half painting the Mellow Mushroom in West Palm Beach in Florida. Um, 100 bottles on the wall. It, it, took, it took a long time. It was fun. It was a huge project. And it was super fun. Um, they designed the whole place around my style. Uh, two months after that, M uh, Museum of Sex in Manhattan contacted me. It's a little dirty. This is Patch Whiskey's little dirty closet. I did vintage Playboy magazine centerfolds <laughs> uh, and, and some mannequins uh, and some dirty little tulips over there. It's... it's <laughs> <laughs> this was in Brooklyn, New York, a couple months after that. Um, what was crazy about this wall is when I painted it, some dude, um, he, he mugged me at knife point for my spray paint. I guess he wanted to see my slimy guts or whatever, but he didn't get to see my guts, so I gave him my paint, and it was all good after that. This was another project in Harlem, New York City. Um, is is for um, an education thing in Iran where um, the women were being denied uh, education and stuff. So this was kind of like um, my girl Daisy reading from the forbidden book of knowledge. Yeah. This is cool. This is the Candy Kraken in a snowy little parking lot. But the crazy thing about this parking lot, I was born in that parking lot 43 years ago. So I don't know how many people get to paint and uh, the, the place where they were born. I was, I, I was born in a, a, a sanitarium. All right, uh, this is a Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Major League Soccer All-Star Game. I got to do a mural um, for Adidas uh, times Major League Soccer. And it was cool because I, I grew up playing soccer uh, my whole life and, and, and rocking Adidas gear. So like, these were like these two cool worlds. All right, that's Justin Bieber. Now, I, I like Bieber as much as the next guy or whatever. He did a cool thing. He invited me and nine other artists for a charity event um, in, in Los Angeles for inner city kids that wasn't going to have a good Christmas, and we raised over $100,000 for these kids. 
and it was, it, was, it was an honor and it was cool to do that. This is uh, some paintings I did. Um, I painted over 50 some paintings um, for the Charleston, um, for the hospital, the kids, MUSC kids um, hospital or whatever. So every kid got a patch whiskey painting in this one day. <laughs> This is kind of just the thing about some transformation. Like, this is like, this is before a picture of like, ah, oh, this looks like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre could come out of this thing. You know, <laughs> so like, this is before, this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this is Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> so, <laughs> or maybe his neighbor or whatever. <laughs> it, it, it is a cool trans This is an also a transformation thing that I did. This was, um, this was, it was a building here, and, and some murders and stuff happened. Um, they burnt the building down. It's crazy. Crazy stuff happened. Dark, dark things. <laughs> so, but I was there for like a month and a half, and um, I, got to, I got to paint a mural. And so that wall is actually what that wall looks like now. This, this is also a sweet thing. Um, this was in Houston, Texas. I, I painted this not realizing that um, people were going to come and uh, be a part of it. And this is a cool thing that I like to to see um, people interacting with. So I got to see Wednesday um, having dinner with the monsters. And this is my studio. This is Patch Whiskey headquarters. It's in Park Circle. And I'm doing an event next Saturday evening from 6 to 10 with uh, some of the coolest artists in Charleston right now. I want you guys to come and support me, support the artists in Charleston. It's happening. Thank you, guys.